Hello again fellow racers, it's your boy Vexed again and we are back. This is it, this is the third and final race from the final round of the Ultimate Racing League DTM 2022. We will be back again in the new year. Uh, we will be finding out who is the champion and who will be moving up from League 3 to League 2. Um, I think there will be some people moving down from League 2 to League 3. But don't quote me on that. Without further ado, anyway, let's have a look at the grid. We've got Hoppers is on pole. We've got Biggie is second. Boosted is third. Max is fourth. Moz is fifth. Stealth sixth. Krisner seventh. Incy is eighth. Poppins is ninth. Pickle is tenth. Drummer is eleventh. And Fitzy is twelfth. So let's get into it. Wait for the lights to go out. They're off. They're off. Looks like Boy Boosted actually getting a really good, uh, really good start there. He managed to get past Hoppers. Hoppers looked dead on the line. So Biggie, Krisner, Boy Boosted, first, second, and third. Stealth has actually moved up to third. Let's hope there's no uh, no safety car during this race. It looks like there was a quite quite a bit of contact between quite a few of the cars there. A lot of moves being made into Druids. Couldn't really see who managed to get through and who didn't. So Stealth is still currently in third place with Krisner second, Biggie in first. Boy Boosted, Boy Boosted has managed to go around the outside of Stealth there. Is he going to keep it there? I'm not sure. I think Stealth is going to manage to get back through and he has. Boy Boosted having a slip in behind him, probably looking for the switcheroo, but I think the uh, Genesis might have the momentum over the Supra there. If uh, Boosted dips a wheel on the grass there like he nearly did then, that's going to cost him. Looking for the move up the inside, not quite close enough. A little bit of contact there, it looked like. He's had to slot in behind, that's cost him. He's off offline and drummer's gone through. Oh, bit of contact there between Fitzy and Boosted. He's knocked Fitzy off. I mean, he's not Boosted off. Rightly given the place back though, he's let Boy Boosted back through. He was trying to move over, trying to cover a uh, pickle off. He's managed to do that successfully. Boy Boosted's actually off again. He's going to have to watch that rejoin and he has. Pickles managed to get through though, so Pickles moved up to 6th place, Boy Boosted dropped down a 2nd, 7th, uh, he's got Incy firmly in his toe now, he's going to be having to worry about that, I'm sure he's sweating a bit of seeing Incy in his mirror, I'm sure it's going to be foreboding for anyone, we know how fast Incy has been throughout the season, so, looks like he's actually having a bit of a Sunday drive this evening though, he's not a... Uh... Not really pressuring himself too much. Poppins finding himself all the way down in 12th and right off the back of the pack. So not sure what happened there. Oh, and Biggie's actually taking up the lead. So Biggie in that GTR, he's managed to take up that first place. We'll see if he keeps it there. Chris Nurse chasing him down though, so. So I think, wasn't it Fitzy? Wasn't Fitzy in? Oh, perhaps this is how it has been for the last lap. I'm not sure. Anyway, we've currently got Biggie. Biggie is in first place. He's now starting to feel the pressure, pressure from Krisner 420. He's starting to really close up onto the back of him. He's closing up through them, uh, through the braking zones and not looking like the GTR can do a lot about it. He's going to be having to uh, size up that move carefully though, as Chris Nerv, as we can see there is a little bit of uh, sketchiness from Biggie's car. Hopefully it's not going to exacerbate as he gets closer, but it does make passing quite difficult sometimes when, uh, when you have some of this stability issues. So yeah, not quite close enough to go for the move yet is uh, Krisner, but he's closing up lap after lap. I think we are going to see the move come soon. Biggie is going to have to start going a little bit more defensive than he is currently, although I think at the moment he's just trying to stay smooth and consistent. And Oh, he has a bit of a moment. Krisner closing right up. I think he had to stamp on the brakes to stop him going into the back of, back of Biggie, but... He's done well there, so Biggie still currently holding on to first. We've got Chris Nerve is second. Stealth. Stealth is still in third, but he's now being challenged by Drummer. Drummer's right on his chuffer. Not gonna quite get past there, but Stealth's offline. It looked like he was 
going a bit deep and he might have dipped a wheel onto that gravel, onto the grass there, but it's not slowed him down too much. Drummer looking for the move again. He is looking for that move, but he's not going to get it done there. I think this next turn might be where he comes. Closure Roy up. He's going for the move. He's going up the inside there. Drummer, has he got it past him? I think he has. I think Drummer's managed to... Oh, but he's... It looked like he might have forced Stealth off wide, so... Having to back off. That's unlucky, Drummer. It was a... You had to go for the move, to be fair. We saw you were sizing it up. It was coming. It's just unlucky that... There was obviously contact and now having to stop for Stealth, so Drummer actually dropping a few places there. Stealth's moved moved down to fifth. He was third for uh, for the incident with Drummer. It's unlucky. Like I say, the move was on, it was definitely on, but I think the car just a little bit unsettled, drifted a little bit out to the outside and Oh, as it looked like there was a bit of contact there between Krisnerv and Biggie. Krisnerv looking for that move, but looks like he's finding it quite difficult at the moment. So Biggie is still currently in first, Krisnerv is second. Fitzy, Fitzy is third, and it looks like he's on a charge. He's got the fastest lap of 130.750. And he is actually catching up to the front two, it looks like. So he may be trying to throw a spanner in the works for them guys in the top two. Pickle, Pickle's currently fourth, finishing on the podium in race two, he's going to be looking to make that another one, but can he catch up to Fitzy and retake that position? We'll have to wait and find out. Drummer, is so Drummer managing to get back past Stealth after that mishap on this turn? He's now firmly got his head down and he's uh, trying to get onto the back of Pickle. He has looked uh, very fast for all the rounds that he's turned up this season as drummer. I think the uh, 155 very fast through the corners and good acceleration but suffers a little bit with a lack of top end. Delph actually losing the place to Boy Booster there, but is he going to go back past? It looked like he was uh, going to get a switch back done. Big plume of smoke there from Boy Booster getting that super going again. Stealth looking quite fast though. It looks like he might be able to go for the move back past Boosted again, and I'm sure he'll get it done cleanly. Closing way up onto him through that, through that turn, through that hard left hander. Yeah, boy boosted, seemingly not, not really able to pull away from Stealth at this point, so. And it looks like Stealth being able to break a lot later as well. I think he's been practicing them breaking zones of Stealth. I know he was saying before that he had to, uh, he had to adapt his driving style to, to fit with a new, Gran Turismo 7 after moving up from Sport, so... Looking really fast. I think he is definitely going to get back past Boosted. I'm not sure when it's going to come. He's got half, half a race still to do it, so... Boy Boosted sending in the long way round. Yeah, Boost is staying on that inside. He's drifted out wide to the outside, though. Coming back across to cover the inside again. Will Stealth make it round the outside? Not quite got the momentum, but has he got the momentum for the switcheroo? He might be able to dive it into this lefter. Ah, some intelligent driving by Stealth there. Not chucking it up the inside and trying to make the move too aggressive. I think he's going to bide his time. I think he will get past, though. Fitzy actually managing to pass Pickle, so we'll have a quick look at them guys in just a second. So Harry Poppins is eighth. Inti all the way down in ninth. Looks like he's just out for a leisurely drive. Maybe you know something we don't. Moz. Moz currently tenth. Oh, and Krisnerv. Krisnerv actually managing to get past Biggie as well. So again, we seem to keep missing these 
bleeping overtakes. I do apologise guys, we'll try and uh, keep up with the rest of the action for the rest of the race. Have a look how close everyone is to each other. So looking like Pickle nearly losing that position to Drummer as well. Drummer's actually gone through up the inside on the start finish straight on the approach to Paddock Hill. Yeah, Drummer's got it done. Looking like Pickle. Looking a little bit slow in this round. I think maybe, yeah, he's on the medium. So I think that's what's hampering Pickle. So we've got Krisnerv. Krisnerv is currently your race leader. He's managed to finally get past Biggie. He was looking for that move to get past him. It was all a bit sketchy for a couple of laps, but he's finally got it done. And it looks like he is uh, he's trying to gap him now as well. Actually opting for the mediums in this third and final race. which with the added tyre wear you would think would be the better option but some of the guys actually opting for the softs Biggie being the first of them so Biggie is still currently trying to chase down he's trying to get that first position back off of uh, Krisnev if he finishes on the podium though that'll be I think his best position possibly this season be some decent points there for Biggie Fitzy, he was on a charge, wasn't he? I thought he could see the front two, but he seems to have dropped a little bit off now. He's got the rest of the field though, so it's definitely, if he keeps it on the grey stuff, it will definitely be a podium for him. Obviously, I shouldn't speak too soon, but... We have only got three and a half minutes remaining, so... So Krisnerv, followed by Biggie, followed by Fitzy, Drama is in fourth. He's managed to get past Pickle. Pickle's staying with him though, so maybe Pickle will still be able to challenge him just yet. Still be able to challenge him yet, is what I meant to say. We are coming into the closing stages of this race. The closing stages of the season. Points have been totted up. We have got your top three drivers are sat in front of me. They will be announced after the race. So Poppins and Stealth. Poppins and Stealth still having at it. Stealth not managing to find his way past just yet, but he's still with him. He's still right on the back of Poppins, so... Poppins on the softer compound, so you're going to see more tyre wear on uh, Poppins' car than you will on Stealth. So I think Stealth is running the mediums. Oh no, Stealth's actually on the softs as well, so... Both guys on the softs. Looking like they've both got even tyre wear, pretty much. Oh, as Stealth goes a little bit deep, that's going to cost him. I think he's going to have to settle for seventh, as we have just passed the 13-minute mark. Unless Poppins up ahead has a bit of a mishap. Boosted, Boosted is 8th. So I think Boosted actually managed to get past Incy. It doesn't look like Incy is just... He's chilling out, isn't he? He's trying not to... Uh... He's only been allotted one engine this season, so he's probably trying to make the most of that engine and... Make sure it doesn't have to go for a rebuild too soon. Max. Max is 10th. He's got Moz not far behind him in 11th though, so... He might have to watch out coming into the final lap. Hoppers. Hoppers is currently 12th.
done well to stick with that McGann for the whole season. I'm sure we'd be glad to see the back of it though. Now getting blue flagged. So this is your race leader, this is Chris Nerve. Has he done enough to top to uh, top Lindsay off the top step or would he finish in second place? I think he might have needed to finish first in all three of these races to to have toppled Incy. So we will have the uh, top three announcements for you shortly. As Incy comes, uh, Chris Nerf comes up to the start finish line for the final time. He is your race winner, Chris Nerf. Well done, Chris Nerf. Little bit of a battle here between Fitzy and Biggie. Is Fitzy going to get past Biggie? No. So Biggie finishing in second. That's a great result for Biggie. Fitzy, third place. So he had two first positions and a third. That's a decent outing for uh, Fitzy. Drummer's finished in fourth. Pickle has finished in fifth. Poppins. Poppins is sixth. Stell's going to bring it home in seventh. Boy boosted. Boy boosted in eighth. Incy. Incy's had a great season really from start to finish. I think this has been his weakest uh, race yet. Incy finishing in ninth. Max is 10th. Moz 11th and Hopper's in 12th. So I can tell you without further ado, Inca Incy has actually won the championship with 386 points. Chris Nerva's teammate has come second with 331 points. And Moz, third slot in the championship with 326 points. Well, that was uh, your third and final race from Brands Hatch. This has been the final round of the season, so we will see you in the new year. I've been your boy Vexed. This has been the Ultimate Racing League. Good night.